Lord, Lord so much without the gate. Look at us, Tina. Let us go forth, therefore. It's for everybody. Let us go forth, therefore. Don't stay behind and say, I can never be sanctified. Why not? If you are not the one to do it, it is Christ Himself who is to do it. He will do it for every one of us in Jesus' name. Let us go forth, therefore, unto Him. Unto Him. Unto Him. Without the camp, bearing His reproach. Verse 14. For here we have no continuous city, but we we'll seek one to come. Number eight is divine nature. Second Peter chapter one, reading from verse three. Second Peter chapter one, verse three. According as his divine power, he has given unto us, look at that, all things that pertain unto life and to godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue he has called you to glory no shame in your life and no defeat in your life the devil in the past maybe rubbed your nose on the ground no more glory and virtue in your life in jesus name Verse 4, it says in verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. Nine, number nine, in the baptism in the Holy Ghost. The baptism in the Holy Ghost. He mentioned in the Holy Ghost. In John chapter 3, verse, chapter 7, verse 37, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, that's the qualification, if any man thirst, he desires, he's hungry, he's thirsty, he wants the overwhelming, enveloping power of the Holy Ghost. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Verse 38, it says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Verse 39, but they speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. But it's coming. Power, I said, is coming on you. Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you and the power of the highest will perform great things in your life and through your life in Jesus' name. Number 10, power unlimited. Power unlimited. What if this year from today, you think of doing something and then the power, the strength, the wisdom, the finance, the provision you need to do that thing, anything that God has put in your hand, everything is available. That's what will happen this year. Surplus, surplus, unlimited power that every good thing the Lord has directed you to do, they will be done. And you will not say, I wanted to do it, but there's no power. I wanted to do it, but there's no strength. I wanted to do it, but there's no ability. Divine ability has come upon your life. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy over all the power of the enemy the enemy that will try to stop you from making progress the lord gives you power over all the power of the enemy you become unstoppable i become unstoppable say say it i become unstoppable you will be an achiever in jesus name nothing will stop your spiritual progress, material progress, professional progress, in Jesus' name. 
and nothing shall by any means hurt you. No arrow will catch you. No affliction will catch you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you in Jesus' name. And then you will finish well here. Then number 11, the rapture, the rapture. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which live in Jesus will God bring us sin. Verse 15, it says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not proceed prevent them which are asleep. In verse 16, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then in verse 17, then we which are alive, you are there? We which are alive, you are included in this. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And so shall I. And so shall I ever be with the Lord. Your future is bright. Look at now number 12, heaven. Heaven is your goal. Heaven is your destiny. And the Lord saves you and sanctifies you and purifies you and gives you the zeal of a child of God. And you are moving on. You are not looking back and... Eventually, after a good life, a, so, a righteous life, a progressive life, a happy life, guess where you are going to be on the final day? Heaven will be your habitation. In John chapter 17, verse 8, For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and they have known surely that I came out from thee, from heaven. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Verse 16, they are not of the world, they are candidates for heaven. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. In verse 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Verse 24, it said, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. Where is Jesus now? Stephen said, I, I see the heavens opened, and I see the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. He is in heaven, and Jesus prayed for you, and Jesus said that, Lord, all those that you have given me, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou loves me before the foundation of the world. From the time of your salvation to the time of getting to heaven, the Lord will never leave you. And all the promises and all the provisions and all the privileges of the children of God, the Lord confirm in your life in Jesus' name. He came, he died that you might live. And this is the time of abundant life, of super abundant life for every one of us as we come to Christ and abide in Christ. And the goodness of the Lord will never stop in your life. I mean in your own life. Done. Performed. Finished. Finalized. Accomplished. 
completed in Jesus' name. Rise up and receive what the Lord has provided for you. Rise up and receive what the Lord has provided for you. Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God, he was predicted, he was coming, and now he has come. Why don't you tell the Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I know Jesus has been revealed for me. And Jesus had been given for me. He was born. And then he suffered on the cross of Calvary. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. It is for you. It is for you. It is for you. Let him rule in your life. Let him reign in your life. Let the government of your life be upon a shoulder that he will be in charge, he'll be in control. Salvation, he provides that all who will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He brings you salvation now. Receive whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then he brings righteousness. Righteousness. He says, he took your sin. He took your shame. He took your weakness. That you might have his life. His righteousness. The Lord, our righteousness. Why don't you tell the Lord, drop the self-righteousness. Drop the worldly righteousness drop the human righteousness and say lord here i am put your righteousness to my account and lord transform my life and make me righteous he gives us righteousness and then he makes you dead indeed unto sin that sin will not be attractive to you anymore that You'll not be saying inside, uh, if I were not a Christian, I would have done that. If I were not a believer, I would have done that. You hate sin, and sin of any shape, of any size, of any description, does not have any attraction to you. Dead indeed unto sin. And it gives you healing. And gives you health is what he has purchased already healing that's your inheritance that's your right that's what he's given unto you he bought it and purchased it on your behalf and you can now say by his stripes i am healed and then he keeps you healthy if you can be healthy for one day, you can be healthy for one week. If you can be healthy for one week, you can be healthy for one month. If you can be healthy for one month, for the rest of the year, you can be healthy a whole year. Fruitfulness. You detest barrenness. Barrenness will be taken away. You abide in him. He abides in you that whatsoever you ask, that he will grant. And he'll make you fruitful. He'll give you the wisdom to be fruitful, the intelligence to be fruitful, the revelation and vision to be fruitful, the wisdom and the ability and skill to be fruitful in the work of your hand in your christian life you'll bear fruit in soul winning you'll bear fruit much fruit more fruit in your life all desirable blessings whatever you desire when you pray believe that you receive and you shall have and you will not go empty-handed any day. Every prayer you pray this morning, every morning, any time, you believe that you receive, and it is yours. Sanctification is available for you. He purifies the heart. He sanctifies the heart. 
he so desired did he preach for you divine nature he brings that divine nature for you and he said the kind of nature he had and you walk this life victoriously more than a conqueror he gives you that same kind of nature the divine nature and the power of the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost the baptism in the holy ghost the immersion in the holy ghost the enveloping of the holy ghost he shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem judea samaria unto the uttermost part of the earth and the fear of witnessing will be taken away from your life power unlimited behold i give unto your power receive receive i give unto your power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and this year as you're making progress in your life this year as you desire as you claim as you stand on the promises of god that cannot fail nothing shall by any means hurt you and when he shall come when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in christ shall rise and we which are alive the militant church the triumphant church the church without spot without wrinkle we which are alive shall be caught up together with them you will not miss the chance in jesus name heaven 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 will be your final habitation you will live with god with christ in the midst of innumerable angels rejoicing forever and ever and the lord will wipe all tears away no more night no more sorrow no more death no more heartache for the former things are passed away and the almighty god says behold i make all things new you have started a journey and every day will be bright brighter brightest and when we get over there it will be the brightest in jesus name we pray <laughs> children of god raise up your hand and believe that this is going to be a turning point in your life even from this day there will be a confirmation in your life and every pronounced blessing will receive a performance in your life in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, will bless you. What a loving God you are. What a merciful God you are. What a compassionate God you are that you want us to forget everything of the past. As you renew our lives, you give forgiveness to those who have repented. And I pray the assurance of that forgiveness will be real in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray real conversion, heavenly conversion, mighty conversion for salvation, forgiveness, freedom. Grant everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, put a barrier between us and sin. That sin will see us as strangers, and we will see sin as foreigner and stranger. And we will not know sin. We will not recognize sin. We will not welcome sin. Make us dead unto sin in Jesus' name. 
Lord, keep us healthy. Everyone here, Lord, I pray your hand will touch everyone now. Your healing made available to everyone now. I pray, Lord, whatever the name of the sickness, we are healed by the stripes of Jesus. And all those people in our districts, even those who are not able to come today, I pray that right now, as you heal the servant of the centurion at a distance, I send forth your healing word unto them. Heal them in Jesus' name. Why? Husband, child, member, anyone, either in the hospital now or at home now, Lord, I pray your unfailing word, your unfailing power will get to them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. And those who have come today, maybe they just managed to come. They have pain, they have sickness, they don't have the sickness again. Lord, visit and touch everyone as we went about doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil heal all your people in jesus name lord i pray all desirable blessings everything we desire your grant unto us now all the aspirations of your people, desires of your people, all the expectation, they will not go back home in vain. Fulfill the expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. Sanctify those who are saved. Empower those who are sanctified. And Lord, take all the defeat of the past, take everything away in Jesus' name. Everywhere we go, we'll trample on the works of the devil. They are all destroyed. They are all destroyed. Give your people glorious victory in Jesus' name. Make everyone, 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 my brother there, my sister there, my son, my daughter, everyone there. Make everyone victorious and more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. What you have done for other people in all these global crusades, repeat that in every life. Confirm it, Lord. Confirm it, Lord. It is done. It is done. For me. For me. For me. It is done in Jesus' name. God bless you. He has answered your prayer.